What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So we're going to be wrapping up the week four NFL 2015 season, uh, Monday Night Football with the Seahawks and the Lions. If you didn't catch the other recaps for the Thursday night game, which was, let me see, go ahead back to the Ravens and the Steelers. I had one for that. I have one for all the games in between on the Sunday. And this one is for the Monday uh, night game for the, uh, wrapping up week four. Uh, who are the buys? The Patriots and the Titans? Okay, so... <clears throat> Pretty much, I'm G Myers with G Myers World. You can contact me at G Myers World on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, I think it's like one more thing. I don't know, what, what is it? Uh, well, I guess YouTube if you're watching the video right now. Also, these podcasts and other podcasts on other issues are syndicated on iTunes. Just uh, type in G Myers World, you'll get the podcast. If you're on Android, download the podcast box app and just search the G Myers World podcast. And like I said, I make it free, I don't charge for it. Uh, just some type of, you know, something for you to listen to while you're on a long ride or uh, in the car. You don't want to listen to your girl. You don't want to listen to your boyfriend. And you're not, you, you, you're not really into sports and you're a female. I'll make you like it. You'll be able to understand more about what's going on with the game because I just call it how I see it. It's not all the other BS that goes on with it. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the Lions at Seahawks. All right. First of all, if you watch the game, it was... Um, it, I, <laughs> Russell Wilson is not as good as people think he is, and let me let me just let me just um let me just say this. I don't know what the hell is going on, but if he doesn't start playing better, look, you you got Chris Matthews, you got um what is this what is the, what is the other douchebag that they paid that much money to Jimmy Graham, and I don't know if it's the offensive coordinator, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it was Lynch being out, I don't know what the hell's going on, but that offense is putrid. It's a joke. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, defensively, we're going to get to Cam Chancellor, what he means to that defense in a second. Um, but let's first address the way we like to address it. Pete Carroll is a great coach. I love Pete Carroll. When I say love him, I don't mean, like, you know, he's my brother or anything. I'm just saying, uh, you know, I, I like what he does as far as he earns his paycheck. Let me just say that. Let me stop using the word love. People throw around the love too much. Um, I respect what he does on the field. I respect that the, he he's like the... The opposite of Rex Ryan. He's a player's coach, but the, but but he knows what the hell he's doing. Um, and that's not a knock on Rex Ryan. It's just that Rex Ryan talks too much and, and things don't get done. And you can be a player's coach and the players can still play for you and respect you, or you can be Rex Ryan. And that's what's happening right now with Rex Ryan. It's just too much talking and not enough. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm in New York, so, you know, Buffalo is way up there from where I am. Well, not way up there, probably an hour away, but... It's still, it's a sort of thing like, bro, no matter where this guy has been, when he was just right here locally, you know, with the Jets, it's the same thing. You're just running your mouth. Nothing's getting done. It's about time for you to start making your, you know, your mouth quiet and on the field actions do all the talking. And, and that's my point of view with that. But Pete Carroll earns his paychecks. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the Seahawks now. Um, what did they do? You know, other than the touchdown that he threw in the early part of the game, you know, that was a dot. He threw it pretty good. You know, listen, man, those plays, those are plays that we used to make, you know, in, in backyard football, just right over the top. Those are not really, you know, he had an escape play with the Houdini thing after that, too. I know he escaped with that one and throw the dot. But all that extra stuff that he's doing is not really turning into scores. And that's what concerns me about the Seahawks. Because when they play somebody that has an offense, and I'm going to get to the Lions in a second. Uh, for all you Lions fans, you're going to want to close your ears because I'm going to really go in on the Lions today. Um, let me just finish up with the Seahawks. Offensively, they stink. Um, you know, Jimmy Graham being there is not doing nearly as much as he should be. He should be wide out every play. He should demand a double team. He should do things to create mismatches. You know, Marshawn Lynch's mother, you know, his mother requested that the offensive coordinator be fired. She's probably right. You know, a mother's intuition is never usually that wrong, unless they're crack moms. You know what I'm saying, bro? And I don't believe that that's the situation there. Um, you know, it's a very bad situation if your mother just happens to smoke crack. But she's a logical woman, Marshawn Lynch, and she has a mom's intuition. You know, a hardworking mother that did what she had to do to help do what, you know, to get her family where they need to be. And it's about, to, that guy might have to go. L listen, he, he, the offense is not doing anything. You put up 13 points, and I understand the Lions has a decent defensive line, but, bruh, no. No, you lose Sue. You lose the other dude. What the hell is his name? Um, the other fat D tackle that was next to him. I can't remember his name. Whatever his name is. They, they lost a lot. Of, they, they lost a, 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 a linebacker. They, they lost a lot of their core. And I don't understand how the Seahawks, and I know, like, they got rid of their center, Unger, or whatever like that, with the whole trade to the, the Saints and... You know, that's why they're saying that the whole line is messed up. I don't want to hear it, bro. These guys are professional athletes. 
you, you know, you got the 12th man in that stadium. You put up 13 points. Really? With this guy, Russell Wilson, that's getting contract extensions? And this is the thing that I'm saying. There's, there's good quarterbacks and there's great quarterbacks. You know, Tom Brady getting paid a certain amount. Even Peyton Manning with his freaking deteriorated neck. Um, Drew Brees, I wouldn't pay him that much. You know, his noodle arm, you know, he threw a, a nice pass at the end. It, it, I'm not really being, you know, going crazy on the Saints, but, you know, Drew Brees is pretty much on his way out. Um, let's see, who else we got? It's not really that many quarterbacks I can speak of that deserve, like, big, big money, other than probably Tom Brady because he's a proven winner. Uh, maybe maybe a, a proven cheater as well, but you, you did, he wasn't convicted of it, and we move on. You know what I'm saying? But as far as guys that get it done on the field, uh, Aaron Rodgers absolutely 100% deserves his money. You know, Carson Palmer, you know, he looked kind of ordinary last week. I, I, whatever. Phillip Rivers, you know, we have good days, we have bad days. That's when he's not banging his wife and she's not on her 15th kid. But I don't know about Russell Wilson getting all this money. Look, he's not doing anything. The system that he's in is what helps him to be what he is. And I understand that he's not Kaepernicking, which means throwing picks as much, but he fumbles the ball all the time. I, I just don't understand. You know, these guys hold out. They do the things like that. If you're a good player, it's one thing. Like Chancellor. Chancellor deserves his money because he being on the field proves that the Seahawks needs him to be the Legion of Boom. Russell Wilson, I, I don't know what he's doing. Does he work hard? Yes. Is he a you know astute uh, learner in the, in, in the playroom? You know when they're studying in the film sessions. Yes. Everybody says good things about him. It's not happening on the field. And I don't know if it's Bevel, the, you know the offensive coordinator. I don't know what's happening. All I know is this: their offense is disgusting, and it's starting to piss me off. And I'm not even a Seahawks fan. I'm, I'm just I just watch the game, so I can imagine like what the hell you're fumbling. You put up 13 points. You you, you want more money? Like bro, what the hell is go whatever, bro. All I'm going to tell you is this. They need to get rid of that offensive coordinator or it's going to probably hit the fan because the defense can do but so much. And the defense showed a lot of weaknesses, including Richard Sherman. You know, in critical parts of the game, he couldn't make a play. So it's not the same defense overall. I don't want people to think that you're dealing with the same exact Seahawks defense. It's not the same. And people will come in there and do what's right and come out with a victory. You know, we saw the Rams do it. Um, I'm going to tell you right now. The bottom line is they got they got to work on some offensive plays. They got to get Jimmy Graham involved. They got to throw the ball up. The guy's a vertical player. Just let him go. Throw the damn ball, Russell Wilson. When he's wide open, you're scrambling in the backfield. He's running a damn streak, a go route, and you, you you're trying to run and juke and do it. Throw the damn ball. Throw the ball. Steve Young would have made that play. He would have ran outside the pocket. He would have made that play. You got to throw the damn ball. It's starting to piss me off. You're running around. You guys are requesting all this cash, and you're not doing anything. Get the F out of here with your offense. Now, let's get to the defense. Chancellor's play at the end of the game. Chancellor's a great defensive player. He's he's probably the best strong safety in the game. Blah, 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 blah. I think he deserves his money. I don't know what people, you know, I, I do think that the team shouldn't have negotiated with him with that many years left on his contract also. So I got to be fair. You signed a contract. You signed a contract. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um... But at the same time, his presence on the field is like no other for that defense. I don't know if he goes someplace else and plays the same way because you need a certain type of personnel. You need a certain type of coach. People think it's easy. When the players don't like the coach, like with Chip Kelly's situation, where it's a whole thing with, you know, is he is he prejudiced? Is he not? It's all BS going on. Guys don't play. And it's, a very, it, it, it's very annoying to me because you're still being paid. So you should still go out there with some pride. I don't care if I like my boss or whoever, what the F. Yo, you're paying me. I got to go out there and do what I have to do. I, you're making a very good living doing it. So all that thing about not playing for the coach and people getting excuses, it's garbage. You're still a professional athlete. Go out there and play. Bottom line. Defensively, however, that punch out with Calvin Johnson, who we're going to get to in a second, who's a complete shell of himself, a disgusting individual. He should never... Be, listen, man. What, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to him in a second. I'm, I'm really getting crazy right now, so I'm, look, give me a second. Um, that play at the end of the game where he knocked the ball out, you know, listen, clutch, even though the linebacker did an illegal play and knocked it out of bounds, and I know the Lions fans are like, bro, give me a chance. It happens, bro. Did Des Bryant really catch the ball last year? Probably. I don't know. I think, you know, maybe he had enough control of it. I don't know. But the way the rule is, he did it. The refs control a lot of this game. It is what it is, okay? Um, let's go ahead and get back to um, the overall defense of the Seahawks. Impressive in most cases. You know, Bennett is a beast. There's a lot of things. Irvin is decent. 
they're not the same defense they were last year. They got to get a lot of things going. They got to start, you know, they got to start gelling. You know what I'm saying? Are you gelling? Magellan, they got to start doing that. They have to start doing a lot of things that they used to do. And it starts with Richard Sherman. I don't think that he's on the same level of playing as he was last year. I don't know what's going on at home. I don't know what's, what's happening, but he's not the same player. I watched him. All, he just doesn't look like it's in him. Even when he's trying to motivate the crowd, it doesn't seem the same way. I don't know what it is, but they better fix it. Um, other than that, kudos to them making that play. You know, Chancellor made the play of the game. Uh, a play of the game. Without that play, they lose. I don't put any faith in Russell Wilson driving the field to score. I'm sorry. Russell Wilson is not an elite quarterback. I'm sorry again. Well, I'm not sorry. What am I talking about? I'm acting like a, you know, like usually they, they always make fun of women because women always say I'm sorry, but I'm not doing that. Russell Wilson is not an elite quarterback in this league. Okay, so let's just get that out there. Um, and that's pretty much it with the Seahawks. Now to the Lions. Jim Caldwell, I don't know how he's still a coach, a head coach. He's a great offensive coordinator when I don't have to see his face. And when like he was in the booth for the for the Ravens when they won the Super Bowl, all that stuff. When you don't have to see him on the field, because he's not a it's not a knock on him. Certain men just shouldn't be doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like when you look at a guy, some guys just shouldn't be doing it. He just looks like a stay-at-home dad or some shit. Like, he's not supposed to be leading men. I'm sorry. Uh, well, no, I'm not sorry. What am I doing? Okay, look. Whatever. You know what I mean. He shouldn't... He he should be fired ASAP. They got to bring somebody else in there that can do the job. That's all I'm saying. Certain people have to be able to lead men. He's not... Yo, it's just... It starts with the coach. That's my point. It starts with the coach. If, if your team's playing bad, the coach is making money too. Let's figure out what the coach is doing. Because he, it's his job to make sure that everybody universally wants the same thing. You have to be a leader of men. And if you're not performing, even if your players are effing up like Calvin Johnson just did at the end of that game, which is the dumb... I, let, let me let me just finish up with Jim Caldwell. He's going to be next. Joe Philbin, you know, listen, man, he had to go. You know, I said it. The same, while I was actually recording my podcast previously, where you can go back and check the last recap I did for week four, 2015, he was actively getting fired. Because that's what needs to be done. When the team is not performing, you have to look at the head coach. It has to happen. Jim Caldwell should not be coaching the Lions, bro. I understand he's a great coordinator, just like Rex Ryan is. Rex Ryan shouldn't be a head coach because he doesn't know how to take accountability for what he's doing and how the people are responding. And that's the problem. You have to be accountable. If you're accountable and you go out there and you say the right things and it doesn't look like, you know, I'll fight in the Rex Ryan, I'll fight for this and I'll stay with them. Bro, no, you had 17 penalties, shut up. Something's going on there, that has to be fixed. I don't wanna hear excuses. Call with didn't give excuses, we lost, whatever. You know, I'm not gonna blame the ref. The ref, may, listen, the ref's supposed to know the call. It was obvious that he pushed the ball out of bounds. It was obvious. Okay, the, look, the same place that, that, that the, the fail Mary happened, it happens. But you can't leave the game in the ref's hands. Calvin Johnson has to hold on to that football. I don't care how hard you punch that ball, Cam Chancellor. A Hadouken from Street Fighter. Calvin Johnson, you're a big boy. You got to hold that ball. And 96% of the blame goes to Calvin Johnson for that loss. The other 4% is all on the coach for that one particular loss because the game was in Calvin Johnson's hand. The reason I'm giving Jim Caldwell 4% is because I'm envisioning his face as I do this podcast. Other than that, it would be 100% Calvin Johnson's fault. Matthew Stafford is a bum. I've been saying this forever, and nobody wants to listen. Calvin Johnson actually got open a lot of times against, what is that, Williams over there, Carrie Williams or something? Um, and he couldn't make the throw. He was throwing the ball out of bounds to the cheerleaders. Matthew Stafford is a big arm bum. Does he have arm strength? Yes, but that is all he has. And as we saw with Dante Culpepper, it can take you so, it can take you so far. And Randy Moss... That, that's what shows that in some cases the receiver makes the quarterback and sometimes the quarterback makes the receiver. In Randy Moss's case, he made Culpepper. In this case, Megatron made Stafford, but Megatron, something's wrong with him. He's not, he's not, he don't got the Mega now. He's just a Tron. It's just, I don't know what he's doing. It, it, he's not the same thing. People are disrespecting him. He's one-on-one. -on -one. It's just a whole bunch of, yo, listen, let me not use profanity. He's not what he used to be. He's just not what he used to be. And that's the bottom line. And I understand that people say, you know, you need a quarterback. I agree. But in some cases, you can still make plays that he didn't make. He's been dropping the ball. He fumbled at the end of the game. If you look at his face, it doesn't look like he has the energy in it. It doesn't look like he wants to do it anymore. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, like you, some guys need like a, 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 a rude awakening to want that hunger to, you know, to go back and get it again. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it right now. And it's very unfortunate. And Matthew Stafford is not going to be a great quarterback. I don't know what people will say. Oh, Matt Stafford, no, he's, he's horrible. He's, he's not accurate. All he has is a big arm, very similar to Culpepper. I'll tell people that before Culpepper left the Vikings, he went to the uh, Dolphins, I believe. Like, it's a, he has a huge arm. If you got somebody with speed, he'll throw it up. And hopefully it's a tall guy, you're going to come down with it. But if you got to make plays, dot him up, pull the Tom Brady. A lot of people complain about Tom Brady's arm strength. I didn't hear that that year he had Randy Moss. The man was freaking, th it was bombs from Baghdad. That's why guys have to give Tom Brady his credit, no matter what. Aaron Rodgers, you got to give him their credit. Drew Brees when he was Drew Brees. Right now, he's just Brees. I don't know what the hell he's doing. His arm is straight noodle status, and it's just not working out. But Matthew Stafford is a key component to why they lost this game. Key. He couldn't make throws the whole damn game. Even with proper pass protection when it was given to him, he couldn't make plays. And it's I'm just being honest about it. He's not that guy. He's not that guy. The same way we're figuring out right now that Kaepernick is not that guy, Matthew Stafford is not that guy. And Clay Matthews, by the way, has all the right in the world to call him out, to kiss his biceps. Clay Matthews, your hair regimen is on fleek, by the way. Yo, listen, keep doing what you're doing. But when, when the 49ers was rout, routing them, nobody said nothing. Kaepernick was tongue kissing his bicep in the end zone. They didn't matter. I don't want to hear that nonsense. But at the same time, I just want to let you guys know, are Stafford and Calvin Johnson to blame for the you know, the hookups and the stuff like that? Probably. Because a lot of guys knocked Jay Cutler, but when Jay Cutler and Brandon Marshall were in Denver, Jay Cutler was a much better quarterback. And Brandon Marshall is not as fast as Calvin Johnson. And, and, and Cutler made it happen, which is why I always say Cutler may not have the, the, the that go, that heart, whatever. He's a bum. In his, in his demeanor, he's a bum. But he's overly gifted and a much better quarterback than a lot of people give him credit for. But at the end of the day, the play, it, it, the game came down to one play. Calvin Johnson just decided to get the ball knocked out of his hands, and he cost the, uh, the Lions the game. And I feel bad for Lions fans, man, because I'd have been a huge upset. But guess what? Your quarterback is a bum, and Megatron is no longer Megatron. And that's pretty much what it is right there. Let's go ahead and take a sneak into week five, where we do some picks, and uh, see what's going on with that. Um... Let's see, we're gonna go ahead and, okay, so the, the uh, Panthers, Dolphins, Vikings, and Jets are off. Okay, so that's cool. All right, so who's playing this Thursday? The Houston Texans and the Colts? The Texans are horrible. Um, they suck um, very badly too. Not even like like a good suck. You know what I'm saying, bro? Not not even a good suck. They, they you know, they, they're horrible, they suck. Uh, the Colts are even worse. And Andrew Luck has been the biggest disappointment I've seen for a while, uh, for, for you know, going into whatever season this is for him, I don't even care. I just hate him so much because I drafted him in my in my fantasy league, and he's been costing me money and time since that point. And he had another to be injured against the Jaguars. But um, Chuck Pagano is another coach that's going to be fired soon, and um, that's pretty much where it goes. I'm going to have to take the Colts here because I don't believe in the Texans, and I just found out that they're not starting Hoyer, who finished the game. So I'm going to go with the Colts in that game simply because I think the coach of the Texans should be fired immediately. That's the only reason. Go ahead and take the Texans. Bears and the Chiefs, this is tough. I'm going to take the Chiefs, though. I like the way that Cutler came down and handled his business on that drive uh, against the Raiders, but, again, it's the Raiders. Seahawks at Bengals. I'm take, I'm, I'm probably going to take the Bengals. And you know, I, like, it hurt me to say it. Seahawks have no offense. I'm going to go with the Bengals. Redskins at Falcons. I'm going to take the Falcons. I'm not saying the Redskins are not playing well because Kirk Cousins played very well last week. That was the first week that I didn't call him a bum burger bitch. So you're on the right track, Kirk Cousins. Um, Jaguars at Bucks. I'm a, that, that's, that's like a doodle fest. That's like taking the shit and throwing it on the wall. That game right there. I don't think I'm going to watch most of the guys, I'm going to be honest with you, because I'm probably going to throw up in my mouth like four times trying to deal with it. But I'm going to go ahead and take the Bucks because I just don't believe in the Jags. Wait a minute. No, I'm going to take the Jags. I'll take the Jags. Let me recant that statement. I'm going to take the Jaguars because Blake Bortles, I think, is better than Jameis Rapis Winston. Um, Saints at the Eagles. Oh, Chip Kelly has they, they have to win this game. But so do the Saints. This is a this is a tough one. This is a tough week to bet. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I, I don't know about Drew Brees' noodle arm. Who's on defense that really does anything for the Eagles anymore? 
I don't, I'm gonna take the Eagles. I'm just gonna go with the Eagles. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark. Ra Browns at the Ravens. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Ravens. I'm never gonna question, bro. The Brown, I, Mike Patton should be fired right now as I'm doing actively doing this podcast. Um, Rams at Packers. I'll take the pack in that game. I'm just gonna take the pack. Uh, Jeff, it's a Jeff Fisher coach team. Regardless of what the Rams do, they're not they're not gonna really do anything because Jeff Fisher is a known loser. Bills at Titans. The Bills should win that game. Um, but uh, you know who knows? You know what I'm saying, bro? Cardinals at Lions. Cardinals. I think the Lions are gonna go own five. Patriots at Cowboys. Patriots. Broncos at Raiders. This may be a like a it's like an upset game, bro. Because if they can get, I think they have enough on their D line to get to Peyton Manning, and Peyton Manning's gonna throw picks. But at the end of the day, I gotta go Broncos. I I, I just. I just can't go with the Raiders, man. I can't. I can't be that guy that goes to the Raiders. I think that yeah, they're done. They're, I, I gotta go Broncos. I can't be stupid about it. I love the Raiders, man. I love what Al Davis did when he was the owner. Even though he, you know, he just he was just a good guy, man. For the most part, and, you know, the way he ran his thing and gave so many people opportunities, regardless of ethnicity, he was a great man, man. May he rest in peace. But these Raiders, bro, I gotta, I got, I gotta go Broncos. I mean Broncos, Broncos. All right, um, 49ers at Giants. That's Giants. Uh, Kaepernick is going to be doing a lot of Kaepernicking, which is now the turn for throwing an interception. Um, yeah, pretty much. I'm going to have to go with the Giants. Steelers at Chargers Monday night. Michael Vick. Michael Vick, bro. Michael Vick. He did enough to win last week, and uh, Antonio Brown decided not to catch balls. They let you throw it across your body. All that kind of stuff was going on. The field goal kicker couldn't make kicks. I'm gonna go Steelers. I'm gonna go Steelers, and those are my picks, man. You guys can contact me at G Miles World uh, on Twitter, or on Facebook. If you have other picks that you want to share with me, you want to talk fantasy, that's the Twitter. You want to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitch. If you're into video games with Madden, do that also. You want to buy a G Miles World T-shirt, take a picture of it, take a picture with it, go to school, do a selfie. GMilesWorld.Spreadshirt.com or you can just go to G Miles World T-shirts. It's all in the description on this video in YouTube or you can just check the overall about me on the YouTube page. Until next time, one love.